Yo, what's going on guys? This is Burn again and this is tutorial number two. In this tutorial series, we're going to get our first look at AngularJS. Okay, first up, since we're actually going to be starting our application now, I've gone ahead and rearranged our project directory a little bit. I've changed, I've added a public uh, folder here with JavaScript that we're going to put all of our AngularJS files in. Um, I've moved our libraries folder into this, so we have all of our um, packages in here and I've added a partials folder where we're gonna put some partial HTML text and I'll, t I'll show you about that in a future tutorial. I've changed our Bower RC to uh, put all of our uh, packages in public libs and I've changed some of our views up. This is from the Node.js tutorials. Um, I've put our auth uh, pages in one folder and our secured pages in another and adjusted our, um, our, adjusted our routes uh, to be consistent with those uh, directions. So uh, auth routes now point to the folder uh, auth login.ejs. Don't worry if that confused you. Uh, if you haven't been following uh, my previous tutorials, my Node.js tutorials and stuff like that, you don't even need to know any of that. If you're here to just learn some Angular code, then stick with me. Okay, so here we have a simple HTML page. Now I've called it .ejs file because it's a template file for my server, but don't worry, for all practical purposes, this could be a .html page and you would do just fine. In order to bring AngularJS into it, all we have to do is bring in a script um, with our source equals to our libraries, AngularJS and Angular.js. And then, if I can type, there we go. That's bringing uh, the Angular into our HTML. Now, in order to start using Angular in our HTML, all we have to do is add a directive called ng app. Save that, and now you have an Angular app. So one of the coolest things about AngularJS is two-way data binding. Now two-way data binding allows the user interface to interact with the data itself and vice versa. So the data being changed can adjust or an update instantaneously the user interface and if the user uh, edits uh, the user interface, it can actually change the data simultaneously. Uh, so let me show you just a little tidbit. So here's our application right now. It has a little font awesome icon in our first Angular app. Here's the source code. What we're gonna do is add a input line, input type equals text, name equals, I don't know, name. And then we're gonna add a directive called ng model, okay? This is what tells um, Angular about data binding. So we're gonna call it, uh, we'll just call it name as well. And then we'll do uh, in that. So next, what we can do is down below, in order to show the model for AngularJS, we do double curly braces. And we can type in a name right here. So let's save that and test it. So here we go. Um, we can type in something here. And you can see that the view is automatically updated by AngularJS. So these this input box is tied to whatever is posted right here by AngularJS with using two-way data binding. Uh, so we can type whatever we want, you know, and of course edit it, and that will be updated live. So we don't always just have to bind to text on the screen. We can actually bind to classes. So I've gone to uh, getbootstrap.com and gone to their components section. I'm going to demo this using their alert system. So what I'm gonna do is copy one of those and I'm gonna paste it into my HTML code here. And we're just going to say, instead of alert success, we'll say alert. And then we're gonna put in our name for our model up here. And then we'll save this. Actually, we'll do like a hello world in here. Save that. Now let's go back to our authentication section. And now we can say, let's see, what are our options here? Success, info, warning, and danger. So success, and as soon as we type in success, it's already fully bound to our class, and it puts the CSS element for success, or alert success. Danger, info, etc. 
Okay, so to finish this tutorial off, I want you to go to the angularjs.org website. I want you to go to their develop and API section. And then you'll see a directive section, which are the main components of AngularJS. There's a lot of components, but one of the components of AngularJS. Then you're going to go to ng model, which is what we've been using. And you'll see that we can uh, get a lot of information about how we use it. There's example code and stuff like that. There's, uh, I'm going to show you really quick uh, that we don't just have to use it on text. We can use checkboxes, radio buttons, numbers, and stuff like that. So really quick, let's just change this to a uh, checkbox. Save that. Reload it. And now when we click on this, it's setting the checkboxes set to false or, or true. So uh, I hope you guys learned a lot in this tutorial. Um, it's a quick one, and we're going to continue with the uh, quick tutorials over small topics uh, for the next uh, few videos and see how that works. If you guys got any questions, concerns, hit me up in the comments below. If you like the video or you like the channel, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks.